Hi everyone, I'm Ben. Thank you very much for visiting my channel and watching this tutorial. This is a four part tutorial about uh, Premiere Pro, how to put a B-roll together for one minute with special effects and make it look interesting. Uh, this video is only meant to be for beginners, not for professionals. Please leave your feedbacks below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let me know what other videos and tutorials you would like me to post for you and I'll be more than happy to get on it. And thank you very much for watching. I already have uh, made a folder and um, in it I've done some subfolders with the footage, sound files and everything I need, the logos. Now let's open the Premiere Pro. I'm using uh, version 2020 and let's import all our files into the import media to start. So I'm going to highlight uh, four folders, five, and drag and drop them here into Premiere Pro. And let's close that folder now, open Premiere Pro. And you can see on the left that uh, inside the project section, You've got all the folders there, so I'm going to highlight all my footage and I'm going to drag and drop them in the timeline. And you can see that uh, it's almost 20 minutes. So what we're going to do is to basically compress this 20 minutes into one minute of a cinematic look uh, video. and. Um, I'm going to take you through step by step the way I've done it and it's very time consuming it's um, it's not something that you could rush and want to quickly finish you have to be really patient with this you have to drag it back and forth and make sure that um, everything is okay you're not missing any small details uh, pay special attention to transitions. Uh, the sections that you do want to ramp up and speed up, they need a lot of work actually uh, to look good. And you need to add a little bit of uh, sound effects to it. And so we are going to do this one by one. We're going to add music. We're going to add sound effects and special effects and do a little bit of color correction, color grading and um, see what we can turn this footage to at the end. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to um, select the uh, sections that I, I need and delete the ones that I don't. So f to begin with, first you have to do a rough edit. So, uh, we go, we're going to do a rough cut first. Um, what that means is that we're going to uh, cut down the 20 minutes of footage that we have, maybe down to four minutes. And once we've done that, then we go back and review things and try to uh, compress it down a little bit more. So maybe to three minutes or two minutes and then the final cut is going to be what we are actually aiming for, which is 59 seconds to one minute. And um, now we're going to, I'm going to browse through the footage and see what are the interesting sections that I want to keep and what I'm going to lose. This can be very time consuming. Uh, like I said before, you need to have a lot of patience. And um, make sure that you take your time doing things carefully. I'm doing this, I'm editing this uh, for the purpose of this tutorial. This is by no means the standard of the work that we do for our clients. And 
when we have a project that the, we need to uh, hand over to our clients, whether it's a commercial or like a wedding or maybe uh, uh, product advertising, um, interviews, any kind of shots, uh, B-rolls, we uh, usually take about 20 to 30 hours to do a one minute or, or be, between one to two minutes of uh, video edits, especially on commercials. Uh, these are, this is just, uh, just a quick uh, tutorial to show you. You can, everyone has got a different style. You can, you can choose. This is uh, the way that I have um, adapted myself to my workload. And um, this is the way I, I'm used to do the editing and I'm quite happy actually, I'm quite happy with it and I get things done very quickly and um, the results is usually very good. So um, you can see that I've, I've made a few cuts, I've done usually the, the standard procedure is to make cuts of up to 10 seconds. So the, the more cuts you have in your footage, in your um, video, the more interesting it looks. Um, because you're jumping from one angle to another, you're jumping from one scene to another scene, one view to another one. So you're always keeping the viewer um, interested to see what's going to come up next. And that is the basically the key to making and turning a, a very dull video into something very interesting. You want to show, for this instance here, we're just um, filming one Sony camera alpha series and um, together put together with a rig and a viewfinder and a microphone and a battery pack and this is not anything interesting really is it it's just an object but the way that we are filming it and the way that we are putting it together and the effects that we are adding to it all as a package um, show that, that the product is uh, is something very interesting to watch and it can be very rewarding at the end once you've uh, finish your work and you sit back and you look at the work that you've done and the, the film that you've taken, the footage that you've uh, produced, it can be very rewarding and um, it's a nice feeling. So let's see, I, I would like to hear from uh, your projects, I would like to see uh, the projects that you have done. Uh, please leave your comments below and give me your feedbacks. Let me know what tutorials you want me to post for you. I'd be more than happy to do that. And um, please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, let's see. Now I'm going to focus on the logo DP500 and I'm going to make a cut to show that logo for a very brief moment and then move on. I am also making some transitions along the way, uh, ramping up uh, the uh, between the sections, speeding the uh, cut sections that I don't want up to uh, 10,000, sometimes 5,000, so that uh, when one section is finished, it kind of quickly jumps to another one. Um, that is the usually that is the only um, transition that I use. I don't use transitions that uh, Premiere Pro offers because that kind of turns your work into something very amateurish. You don't want to do that. Uh, a professional edit doesn't usually have a transition. You basically jump from. Um, one section to another section. In this section here, I want to 
you can see that little light bokeh. I want to keep that. So.